Hi, and welcome to Happy Fisherman Adventures. I hope, I dream, I wish to catch a big fish. And I do it when I can. I'm a happy fisherman. And I do it when I can. I'm a happy fisherman. Today's episode is with our friends Sonia Michael and our little star Maya. And you start with eating, well, cooking, cooking. <laughs> <laughs> well, normally when we go to Melbourne, we end up going to either Chewapi Grill or to a Mediterranean restaurant in Albert Park. And Michael is usually the one cooking for us, or Sonia. This time it was TV's turn. <laughs> Another best chef in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> now, we actually had fish today that we caught just the day before was silver whiting. We had some slimy mackerel and we had a beautiful dinner. We did. Oh, it was amazing. And I have to tell you, they were impressed. Well, even the best chef in Melbourne thinks it was great. <laughs> in today's episode, actually. Um, actually, the, the, the first day, it was only Maya and Michael coming on board with us. Yes. And the second day, Sonia, Michael's wife, she came on. But today's episode actually is about Maya, the little star. And she was amazing. She caught the first fish. She got two at once. And she was a little star. And she caught more species, I believe. That's right. Well, let's watch the first video. This adventure starts with a good and healthy food. It is first week in 2024 and our friends Michael, Maya and Sonia, the family Popovic from Mediterraneo restaurant, are over. We always try to spend one week together swimming, fishing and eating good food. Michael and Sonia are an amazing chef and they actually won quite a few awards. But this time the food was prepared by Master Chef Me. The very next morning the weather didn't look good, the wind was up, so we went for a bit of exploring of Bellerin Peninsula. Here we are at Ocean Grove, enjoying this beautiful beach, and the puppies had the time of their life. We ended up having lunch at this beautiful restaurant on Bowen River, and later on that night we had my friend Ange and his wife Andrea coming over, and Mima prepared fresh Port Arlington mussels with coconut cream and mango, and this recipe is actually to die for. The very next morning, the weather is on our side. So Michael, me, Mima, and young Maya, we on the way to get some fish. We were at Clifton Springs Ram just around 9.30 and we were on the way to Spoil Grounds. We were a little bit late because someone didn't get up early but we're not gonna name them this time. But I can tell you the weather was absolutely beautiful. Today's target fish, well my target was silver whiting. So we went to Spoil Grounds we end up anchoring there, setting up the camera slowly, and we were in business. Here I would normally set up the big roads, chasing snap and nut, custom, and then set up the little roads. But because Michael and Maya were a little bit impatient, we set up the little roads first, and we cut up some small pieces of pilchard, and they start fishing. Before you realize, Maya had the first fish up. It was a little pinky. Unfortunately, it wasn't a keeper, but it was a catch. As Mima tried to get rid of this pinky of the hook, Maya was on the second fish. This time, it was a yaka. Pinkies we do put back, but yaka makes a great, great bite for snapper, gummy and that, so we kept few. Before you realize, Maya was on another fish. This time, a double, a yaka and a slimy mackerel. That put a smile on Maya's face, but as you can see, Michael wasn't catching. So he was doing something wrong. Unfortunately, 
I could not help Michael and tell him what he's doing wrong because the girls were bringing fish after fish in the boat. But in next video you're gonna see Michael start catching as well. So there is a trick to it. Well, as you saw, Maya got the first fish and Michael, her dad, was catching throwback pinkies. Well, sometimes the young ones can teach the oldies some new tricks. Let's watch the next video. No long and Michael start catching as well. Now, it was a little pinky, had to go back. Well, it's important that Michael start catching. Again, not as many as Maya did, but he was catching. The very next fish, flathead. Don't touch. Don't touch. If you're on a boat, the most important tool on the boat is a flatty flicker. It gets rid of the flathead easy and you don't get stabbed. They're not as bad as gurnet or something, but still they can hurt. On the other side of the boat, Maya was on fire. Another slimy mackerel. We mentioned in previous episode that slimy mackerel is actually a very, very healthy fish to eat. But it's actually an amazing fish to catch on light rod. Then Maya got a visitor. This bird can grab your fish and eat it whole, well, swallow the whole thing in one shot. It's just amazing. So I tried to save the pinkies by not throwing it to it, but she's so fast, she catches them anyway. Doesn't matter what you do, this bird can catch them. Also, flathead, if you put it down, she grabs it and she gobs it in one shot. It's amazing how she can swallow a fish that big. And in one session, sometimes she can eat five, six fish. No problems. Where does she put it? I don't know. Our target was silver whiting, but unfortunately we had no chance because the small pinkies actually just pinched our bite as it hit the bottom. In the future episode you'll see Sonia and Michael come with us while uh, Mima and uh, Maya were staying at home uh, playing Uno and we caught heaps of silver whiting, but today pinkies were destroying us. To them it didn't matter. It was a great day out. They were fishing, the weather was nice, the sun was out. It was just a beautiful day to be with friends on the water. 15 minutes later and this bird's still here. We were putting the fish back, the small fish obviously, and she was catching it. Doesn't matter what we did, this bird was catching it. As Mima was filming how I put a squid ring on a single hook, behind her one of the rod went. So another small fish. Right away she called it, it's a slimy mackerel. This road actually was only about 4 meters under the surface. The thing is, slimy mackerel is a midwater. The actual silver whiting is right at the bottom. But once the sinker hits the bottom, the pinkies were taking our bite in no time. It was ridiculous how many pinkies were around. Again, small pinkies, slimy mackerel, Yaka, it didn't matter. Maya and Michael had time of their life, they were laughing, smiling all the way through and that is all it matters. Then another double for Maya, this time a slimy and a pinky. One hour in and we were very busy. We were catching fish left, right and center and um, yeah, we didn't have much time to sit down, so Mima actually decided, you know what, I'm gonna take a break. Well, that gave me a chance to catch a fish as well. The night before we all loved and really enjoyed the silver biting, so this adventure the target fish was the silver whiting, but we ended up getting smashed by the pinkies and mackerel. We only got a couple of silver whiting. Well, yeah, we end up with a good pinky. Like a, it's, I wouldn't call it a snapper, but it, it was a 40. And then actually the most we got was um, yakas. Yeah. And I love yakas obviously because of the, that's my favorite bait. But um, the silver whiting just didn't play the game. Well, let's watch the next video. 
we already couple hours in and we do not have a decent fish. Big rods, small rods, it didn't matter. Small pinkies were pinching everything we put out there. Also, top water, yuccas and slimy mackerel everywhere. Next moment, on the smallest road, I had a big hit. Now, it was a question, is it a decent fish, not a decent fish, should we use the net, not to use the net. On this road, it felt massive. On this road, I only have six pound line, so I had to take it easy. Now, I was worried when it got closer, that's gonna be a bigger fish, but when I seen it, I said to Mima, don't worry about the net, I can actually grab this one by the leader and I'll bring it in. It was a little bit bigger fish, it made about 30 centimeters, but still, we do not keep those ones. We want them at least 32 to 35 centimeters. In the meantime, on my snapper rod, I put a live yaka. I cast it up and I was hoping for bigger fish, I suppose. Maya had lots of fun. She was laughing, smiling, and she was catching fish after fish. Then the big rod takes off. I passed it on to Michael, and Michael was in a battle with this pinky. We actually knew it's pinky because of the shakes. Uh, we just didn't know if it is a keeper or just one of those little buggers. So when he came on board, this one actually made about 33 centimeters. So that was our first keeper that we could actually have it on a plate. A few minutes later, the road that had the yaka took off. This thing was pulling line like crazy and it was giving Michael hard time. I moved the rods out of the way and um, yeah, we were hoping for something decent. Michael couldn't believe the power of this fish and as he's got a bit of problem with his hands, about 15 minutes in the battle, I had to take it over. And um, yeah, I have to say this fish was, we didn't feel like it's gonna give up. I did tie up the drag a little bit, I even hold it with my hands on the spool so I can gain some line, but it was way too big. No long after, big whack and it's gone. I did feel a few smacks on the line, but I couldn't tell what it is. And uh, when I bring the, obviously the line back in, my leader didn't break at FG knot. Actually, it was bitten about 600 mil away from the hooks. In meantime, we ended up getting some monsters, but none of those was our target fish. And as Maya said, Mima was fighting a stingray as big as the boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, she actually called it wrestling. <laughs> Let's watch the next video. At one stage, it was fish after fish. It was incredible how much fish is out there. You could actually choose what you want to catch. If you had your line on the bottom, you knew you're going to catch Pinky. If you have a half a meter to a meter off the bottom, it was guaranteed you're gonna get yucca. If you have a five, six meters under the surface, it was slimy mackerel. But in meantime, a big rod takes off. This time, it was half decent pinky. We landed this fish, and that was the biggest catch of the day. It wasn't big, but decent. While I was putting it away, another big rod takes off. Now, this one felt a little bit different. It was very powerful, took a lot of line, but it was just white. There was no shakes, there was nothing. Mima tried to take the anchor out because we were packing up to go home and that got stuck. 
So we had to swap. I, go, I gave Mima the road and I tried to retrieve the anchor. There was no way that we we're gonna bring this fish closer to the boat on this road and this line. So as I got the anchor out, I start following the fish just to see what it is. Doing that, we managed to retrieve some line, but the fish was still going. It was incredible. But saying that, we managed to get a blink of it. It was a massive stingray. And um, yeah, we were we seen it, we just wanted to cut the line and that was it. When I went to cut the line, this fish managed to make another run and that was game over. Anyway, we didn't care and it was time to go home, clean the fish and have some rest. Just before we hit Clifton Springs, we decided we're gonna stop and we're gonna scull the pinkies we got. This time I wasn't doing it on my own. Maya was there to help me. This tool Maya's using is actually amazing and she's done a great job. What happened? Yeah, what happened with silver biting? <laughs> we turned it into a pizza. <laughs> Transformation. We had a lot of fun, so let's hear it from Maya. And there we go. We got Maya, who actually came on the boat with us, and what happened? We got fish. We got, and what was the target? Silver whiting. Silver whiting. So we actually contemplated to go for big snapper or this, and on the end of the day, we said we're going to get silver whiting. So we did get some. Not too many, though. Who got the first fish? Me. And who got the smallest fish? Dad. I heard that. Ah, it, did you see? He heard you. Yeah. I overheard <laughs> what you said. <laughs> what else did we get? Uh, we got big snapper. You got the biggest one. Okay, we got one. You got one, the three, second think... smallest and the biggest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? Uh, mackerel. Slimy mackerel. Actually, we got quite a lot of them. Yeah. And what we got the most of was yakka. For that was um, for, somehow that was good. There was tons of yakas. So in order to fish the you know, it always helps to get some yakas. So we can get some bigger fish. So what's your best catch? I got a yakka and a mackerel and one fish. Like on one two. So one it one. was one. It was a double yeah. trouble. And um, Maya what the, what was the most exciting moment? Not exciting, but very heart pumping was when Mima wrestled a stingray as big as the boat. <laughs> uh, who won? Stingray. Did, Did you enjoy the trip? The no. And what was the best part of, of this trip? Being with my family and friends. There you go. So the best thing about and being fish. on the water and it's actually being with mom and dad and Mima and me and puppies. Nobody's giving them and any attention. Puppies. That's good. We got Chiquita here and we got Debbie. Debbie, Debbie, you on camera. What do you mean? Smile. Look. You know, we've been putting out. No, no. Each minute. Boy. That was really great uh, family uh, fishing trip. Thank you very much, Tibi and Mima. Thanks for helping us and having us. And I'm sure we're coming uh, soon again when you come out us. Maybe next week. <laughs> <laughs> Chevapi Grill, remember? And Mediterraneo restaurant in Albert Park. Go and see Michael. Michael will give you the hot spot where to catch fish. Definitely. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> and Thank Maya you. is going to do a next kids clinic. Can we do that? to show what we used, how we used the pilcher and that, and how we caught all yeah. the fish. Yeah. There you go. So Maya is going to so volunteer member, to help you out. Not a member of the happy, happy fisherman. Yeah. Of course. Congratulations. Becoming <laughs> happy fisher girl. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Full. Jungle, no longer jungle, the lion sleeps tonight.
don't know that one. Because that's not that popular song. There is a better song that's actually much more much more popular. Yeah? True. Prima? Yeah. I hope. Baby Brown Mayo, that was great. Well, where is the fish? <laughs> well, I'll start with this. A friend of mine, Steve Stoyan, yeah. sends me a message. He's going to Western Port. They fish normally for flatheads and all that sort of stuff. And I gave him, a, obviously, the launch in Vornit, little boat they got out. I told him to go to Turodin channel. So he did. And next moment I got a message. WTF is this fish. Because it tangled all my lines. He actually made me. <laughs> so he landed a 77 centimeter kingfish. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a lot of kingfish around Hastings, a lot around Turodin. There is quite a few kingfish on Flinders. But um, yeah, they are enough. You have to chase them. In Portland also, there is tuna, there is kingfish, but it's really on and off. And if it's not on the true, you're sitting there for hours just doing a bay watch, I guess. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> other fish. It's, yeah. When you go to Portland, don't put your eggs in one basket. Don't just go out and go tuna and that's it. There is lots of pinkies. There is um, whiting. There is uh, squid at the moment, apparently in Gummy. Portland. Gummy shark, Jai Jai, got a beautiful gummy. Have a look at this picture. It's awesome gummy. So, next thing, King George Whiting. Everybody's chasing it. Western Port. Middle Speed, out of Bornit, oh, even Silver Leaves, they're getting quite nice. Sharkman Charters, done amazing. There is King George Whiting in Port Phillip Bay all the way from St. Leonard's to Clifton Springs, but they're way too small. Yeah, there are a lot of throwback fish, and yeah, I think it's the noise, even the squid. It, squids moved all the way to, um, on the other side, I suppose. They moved to Mud Island. Uh, we get them in the in the quiet area at Clifton Springs, no other pylons where we normally get them, because yeah. too many boats, too many jet skis, a lot of noise. So, that's where the fish is. Well, thanks again for watching. Thanks for your support. Thanks to the guys that purchased our t-shirt, guys that donated on our website. And yeah, we really appreciate it. And once again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will see you next time. I hope, I dream, I wish to catch a big fish. And I do it.